Hey guys, it's Kirk from I Am Music. In our first video, we showed you how to get to the style editor. Now let's take a look at this very busy screen and figure out what the heck all of this stuff means. Okay, so we've probably mentioned it too many times already, but again, a pretty busy screen. We don't want to scare anyone away. So let's keep it kind of simple as we get started. So let's ignore all this stuff over here. Part, track, and patter, pattern edits. And let's focus on these buttons up here, which hopefully you recognize again. Intro, oops, click, there we go. Intro, variation, break, ending, right? Uh, volume sliders down here to allow you to change the volume of drums, bass, accompaniment, one, two, three, four, five. Up here, you see what uh, instruments and or drum kits are assigned. So for example, let's go here to accompaniment two. It is using e-piano something, probably vintage, I think is what that's gonna be. And the volume is set at 101. Notice down here, you can either solo or mute this part. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to point out here? Import and export deal with taking sections of this style, or this style, I should say, and uh, uh, exporting it to a MIDI file so you can do further editing using uh, Cubase, Logic, Cakewalk, whatever you might happen to use, uh, or import MIDI files and uh, make them in, uh, become styles on your instrument. So uh, there's a couple buttons here that are super duper important. Um, I'm going to point it out here as edit all parts, and we're going to show you probably more about that in the next uh, video, and play cycle. Well, let's go ahead and wrap this video up again trying to keep them short so you don't get uh, bored and not watch till the end next time we'll go ahead and start changing some instruments in a style and maybe a drum kit and a few other things as always thanks for watching Brace.